<sighs> well, after beating morning rush hour traffic of Mumbai, soon we were on the empty roads of Mumbai Ahmedabad Highway. And from there, we took a left turn towards the sleepy village of Wada. And now we are walking towards the Asheri Ghat. What an amazing place. As you can see, it's green and deserted. Though uh, the temperature outside is quite warm, but here, beneath the canopy of trees temperature is quite soothing and uh, I am just imagine I'm, I'm just imagining that how this place looks during the rainy season can you see them there yes so apparently this part of a trek is quite steep but trust me once you are up here view is worth it so now we're gonna go that way to the top so now we have reached Sangram and the view from up here is amazing as you can see you can see Western Expressway in the distance over there and Everything else. Few more ah, steps to go. See you. Wagala! <laughs> I'll see you when we reach up there. <laughs> We're about to reach the top. Here are the rock cut steps which lead you to the top. While climbing, we came across this peculiar thing, right here. So, this is a Tsor Darwaza, I guess that's what they call it. And uh, if somehow the fort gets attacked by the enemies, you can escape using this. Apparently many people have tried, but they couldn't find the end of this tunnel. So we're gonna leave it be and march on. Apparently, it's a uh, one hour and about 20 minutes into our journey. Right now it's 12.43. Thoda closing and uh, we had reached almost to the top. You can see Mr. Kapil taking our pictures right there. And those are the stairs which lead you to the top. So here's the famous emblem of the Portuguese. So apparently they build the fort and it's their sigil, a symbol, as they call it, coat of arms. And later it was absorbed by the Britishers. And few more steps to go. Uh, right there in the distance you can see the remains of the wall. And here also you can see the remains of the wall. So apparently... It was a well-built fort, well fortified, but time has taken its toll on it and now this is what is the remain of it. Apparently this is the top, there's the flag. There's another one. Yeah, the of the people. So there is nothing of that sort. I mean, there is no constructions that you can see on the fort. Though there are few remaining remains of the old construction that you can find around here. Uh, <laughs> few is pretty breathtaking from here. 
and although it's a small hike you can reach here in let's say two hours and medium i would rate it as a medium so this is a medium difficulty level trek and it's quite interesting basically these ponds that you see the water is quite drinkable all you have to do is just carry chlorine with you and just put one or two drops in your bottle before you drink stir it well and you are good to go so we just did that i had fair share of my water from here and now we are going to go descend this god damn fort yeah so guys sun is about to set and we have descended the mountain descended the mountain and if you can see right about there yes right there we were there a while ago and now we are here so sun is about to set like i said and we are almost there to the base village khadkaune i guess so thanks for being there watching this video I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.